Hello everyone, the Infiniti QX80 has been given a redesign for the 2025 model year, and the full-size SUV finally gains the looks and features to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with offerings from established luxury markets. Buyers will have to pay a premium though. The 2025 QX80 will be in showrooms this summer, with prices starting at $84,145, including a $19,995 destination charge. That's up considerably on the 2024 models, 76 $45 starting price. The new QX80 represents the third iteration of the nameplate. It was previewed last year with the QX monograph concept, a vehicle whose styling has been faithfully transferred over to the production model. Thin daytime running lights with multiple LEDs that Infinity describes as digital keys sit at the leading edge of the hood, underneath which are the main driving lights in separate clusters flanking the latest version of Infinity's double arch grille. The sides are a clear evolution of the outgoing QX80, with the designers even retaining the QX80's front fender portholes. However, the overall design is brought into the modern era with cleaner surfaces and crisper shoulder lines. The rear adopts taillights that run the width of the body, and Infiniti has repeated its digital key motif here to add some extra character. The interior marks a much more radical departure from the outgoing model's design. Infiniti has really stepped up its game in the QX80's interior, with modern digital screens blended seamlessly with surrounding areas comprised of traditional materials such as leather, suede, and wood. A pair of 14.3-inch screens sit atop of the dash, serving as the gadge cluster and infotainment hub. The infotainment system is powered by Android and features Google built-in, meaning popular apps like Google Maps, Google Assistant, and the Play Store are all included. A third screen measuring 9.0 inches, is mounted in the center console and features controls for the climate settings, as well as the front seats. The screen features haptic feedback, but buyers tend to prefer actual buttons and knobs for commonly used functions. Below this screen sits push-button controls for the transmission, and the driver has additional controls on the multifunction steering wheel. A head-up display is available, and buyers can also add camera monitors for both the exterior and interior. Infinity has gone out of its way to improve exterior visibility with the surround view camera system boasting multiple angles, transparent hood technology and a front view function that provides a 170 degree view to the front and sides of the vehicle will make tight parking maneuvers and tricky off-road trails easier. The 2025 QX80 offers seating for seven or eight, and according to Infinity, there's more knee space in each of the three rows. Cargo space is also up, though Infinity hasn't provided measurements. A power tailgate is fitted as standard. For audio fans, Infinity has added a premium sound system from America's Klipsch as standard. It comes with 14 speakers in its standard setup, but a version with 24 speakers is available. Like its predecessors, the 2025 QX80 uses a body-on-frame platform. To improve handling, engineers have installed an independent suspension with double wishbones front and rear. Air suspension and adjustable dampers are available. A set of 20-inch wheels is standard, but 22-inch wheels are available. A major difference for the new QX80 versus the outgoing model is the fitment of a twin-turbocharged 3.5-liter V6 as standard across the range. It is mated to a 9-speed automatic and generates 450 horsepower and 516 pound-foot of torque. That's up considerably on the outgoing QX80's 5.6-liter V8, which produced 400 horsepower and 413 pound-foot. The towing capacity is 8,500 pounds when properly equipped. Infinity will offer the 2025 QX80 in pure, luxe, sensory, and autograph grades. The pure carries the 84 or 445 base price, while the luxe starts at 91545. Rear wheel drive is standard on both, and adding all wheel drive costs $3,100. The sensory and autograph both come standard with all wheel drive and are priced at 102640 and 11.259 Indoor, respectively. All figures include Destination. Redesigned versions of Nissan's Armada and Patrol Twins have been developed alongside the new QX80. As is the case with the current generation, the new Nissan SUVs will likely be closely related to the new QX80, including sharing its platform and powertrain. Friends, do you like the new Infiniti QX80? Write your opinion in the comments, as well as like and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss the latest news from the world of cars. See you soon. Goodbye, everyone.